All right, I'm back to continue working on the city here. So we're going to get started again. And what did we leave off? We just finished this highway. Clocks stopped all over Port Eagle. Electromagnetic pulse blamed. But what actually happened is I just paused the game till today. So, you know, this game has a sense of humor like that. Alright, so what are we going to do? I'm just flattening the landscape a bit because, you know, it needs to be flattened or it's not buildable. So what is my plan here? Um, new terms. Yeah, we're going to get more money because they're going to sell me more trash. Now, are there trash things keeping up? They are. Recycling keeping up? It is. Building making money? It's for strong breath mints. Oh, good guy. Alright, how's the electricity doing good? How's the water pumps? They're about half, slightly over half capacity. Um, we're doing good. How's the education? Good. Hospital numbers? Um, we're getting another one soon, so we're just gonna build it right away. Um, let's see, I'm gonna eventually have a road this way, so I might as well get it on the map here. Um, am I gonna put my military base here? I might. I'm gonna get a military base later. Okay, okay, we gotta get to the commercial zone. I have no commercial zones. The only commercial thing is here. The whole crime herd business thing here is really to uh, see. Crime is medium because they're next to the casino, but it doesn't matter there's crime here because nobody lives here. There's no stores here or whatever, so. You know what's weird? This gets invented in 2020, and then the Japanese current day are working on this technology where you do a solar. Um, what do you call it? We do a solar thing in space, then you have a beam down to Earth. It's like solar panel in space, and you beam it down to Earth, and I think that's cool. Okay, so what the city needs industrial. Let's finish uh, this industrial zone first. Um. Oh God, son of a pup. Let's flatten that out. We gotta have it um, flattened. You have a dense because we gotta have. And yes, as I said before, I know factories are a little ugly, but you don't have factories, you don't have jobs in the city. You're not producing anything. Your city's not going to grow. Your city has to be a certain size to be, you know, a financial city. A smaller city is going to be built in industry. It's just how it works in this game. You have to have the population to make it a, like a financial or advertising city or commercial based city. Alright, we're filling this in because, you know, you gotta compensate for all the pollution. Now, they don't make that much pollution. That's why they're kind of close to the buildings over here. But you gotta have, um, some of this stuff. Okay, over here, right in this area, we get to the next zone. Now, the problem is I'm running out of land here, so I'm have difficulty with developing it properly. So we're going to focus, I guess, on that. Okay. Now, there's a little gap I leave here for spaces in my grid. This gap is for buildings related to, like, education or healthcare. Now we're going to try to keep the grid as good as possible without disrupting the natural coastline too much, but, you know, there's only so much you can do. Now, <clears throat> we're going to move into a heavy residential zone. And the trains go underground here, and they're going to connect to a subway system that I'm going to build. We've got to have pipes built too far without adding pipes. So, we get the pipes added. And then, we begin building our dense residential zones, our apartment complexes and whatnot. Okay. There's a certain way you gotta do it. Now, usually I build them in square grids, but the, the, you'll see later on the geography here is limiting my ability to build. So, we're gonna have to work with it the best we can. 
Alright, so there's no water, so they're not going to develop. You're going to see. Wait, you gotta get composting. Aerospace tax incentive, yes. No, we're keeping junior sports. It's good for the city. Screw the taxes. Oh, yeah, we gotta get the water treatment plant. I talked about it last time. We got the money to build it now, so we're gonna build it. Um. Let's put it. I don't know, right here. There. You have to get the sim. What? Old news. Okay. Oh, there's chicken. Okay, so. You need certain things to support a heavy zone. You gotta have certain infrastructure. People don't want to live in areas that don't have parks. They need parks by their place where they live. You know, I just moved into town. You gotta have parks there. It just sucks. So, there's a little way I do the grid here. We're gonna make a bus stop here and every other one. And then another side will be facing the opposite way. Um, yeah, right there. We're here, we'll put one there, because the grid's gonna work its way this way, too. I gotta connect it to the road, or it's useless, of course. And... Now, this is not gonna look nice until I, um, improve things. Okay, I get enough parks, I get a geyser park. We'll add that a little bit later when we build that section of the city where I'm gonna put that. Okay, you gotta have a central area where you're gonna put your police and fire. Because you need police and fire if you want to, you know, have half the citizens. If you don't if your crime's too high, you're not gonna have good buildings. That's just all there is to it. Now, it's not developing all the way because I don't have water, but I don't want to water yet because then they block my sight lines. So I got a bus system, but you also need to have a subway system. If you don't have a subway system, People are not going to be able to get around the city very good. you got to have mass transit. I'm spinning it so I can see the area. Alright. So then... Let's see a large part here and then we'll fit there. Here? I don't know, maybe we'll do some smaller. There we go. Mm. Alright, they're going to complain about this later, but we're going to give them a marina, because they're going to want one, and then we've got one. Um, let's see. Night. We're going to put room for a few smaller sky ice, or sky apartment combos here. I was going to call them skyscrapers, but that's not technically what they are. This doesn't edit the landscape too much. Alright. So we're getting this built. And then some of the slopes I can only put trees on. And then all the game decides to do it. Okay, hold on. I got room here for more dents. Alright, so we're gonna have a nice neighborhood here, but we gotta go underground now. First we need to get water to everything, and it will develop all the way. Secondly, we gotta start a subway system. Subways are expensive to build, but you gotta have... Oh, you need to get schools. I'll come back to that in a minute. Um... Let's see. I have a boat to there. I mean, the subway station needs to be approximately right there to fit the grid. So, this connects to the rails that are above ground, because you can't... Subways don't work on land industrial zones. Shuttle service, we'll do that later when we get... Okay, we got a courthouse. Um, Winter Wonderland, we're gonna get... We're gonna get a lighthouse later. I already saw that. No, we're not gonna do that yet. <laughs> I've never actually seen that before. This kid wants homeless shelter, so like a skateboard, but it's good for the city. No. I don't like smokers. No. No. Yes. Good. Lower industrial taxes. They're gonna move in, because look, why would I lower taxes when you all are here? You've developed the buildings. Commercial demand's high now. We're gonna get our first commercial zone soon. Now, the first thing we're gonna do is I always build a little bit of light. What 
what I do is I, oh god, it's gonna be hard to click this, isn't it? Alright, well, we're gonna put a little bit there, and a little bit, oh wait, it's on the wrong side. I want to build it on the other side, so it's next to the buildings. Oh, let's see, we gotta fix that, sorry about that. We gotta... Okay, so what I do is I put commercial here, then I can fit like three schools or three hospitals there. Now I already know we need schools, so... Let's see. Wait, it's gonna update. Come on, okay, it's October. Okay, we have enough now. See, the population spiked because I just built um, an apartment complex here. Now, another thing they're going to start complaining about is we need a zoo, so we're going to build one right here. And, yeah. Um, I'm going to put libraries there as the demand goes up. The demand's probably going to start shooting up here soon anyway, so let's see how we're doing. We're fine. We're fine. Colleges are fine. I guess the education if I want a university. Okay. We really need commercial zones. People, we have a little bit there, but they're going to want more. So then, let's see, we're 11 minutes. Um, we have to develop the city more. Now it's going to be medium. This is going to be things like grocery stores, or for lucky, smaller skyscrapers. Depends on the land value. I haven't talked about land value yet, but I'm going to show you all this in a second. Alright, there should be a bus stop there. That's how the grid works. Um, air pollution, but as the city goes up, it'll be better. Yeah, you know, I built all these gifts in the first commercial zone. The uh, we're gonna get to where we can build them. We gotta flatten out some territory, though. Um, how do I want to do this? We're gonna build. Uh, let's see. Excuse me, sorry about that. Um, let's see. I'm just trying to think in my head how this grid's gonna fit. We get our first commercial area done. Um, come on, let me click it. No. This goes here. This goes there. Hmm. Alright, we're gonna do something kinda half fast because I don't wanna stretch the walls of the map too far. Okay. Oh yeah, we need to buy get, get jails in the city. Holy crap. Alright, one second here. I mean we have a oh what are we passing the education limit already we are. The city's growing. Way too fast. Are we keeping up on garbage? Yeah, we are. Um, what do I need to do here? What was I doing? I need schools. That's what it was. All right, we got to get the water pipe along. We'll get to the school, and we can only handle one thing at a time. All right, school is gonna go next. To, we're gonna just build two schools. That way, we don't have to worry about that for a while. They're gonna complain about hospitals next. They're gonna go there. Alright, so what I do is I build small parks in between the residential but fountains and the commercial. This is more of an aesthetic thing that I like to do. Alright. So then, let's see, where does this? this is right here on this side? That means this one goes here. If you want there, but I can't fit it. And then we'll put one here. And then there. And then we get a subway system. And then, I don't know, to make it more interesting, we'll put one little zone here, and a little bit of space there for a bus stop. 
So yeah, we've kind of, you know, extended our way into the water a bit, but it's, it's more valuable to be in the center of the city. Okay, we're going to build all the gifts in the center of this area. Our city hall is going to go right there. The um, county courthouse is going to go kitty home to it. The, uh, I always put the Winter Wonderland right next to the cap, though. Not the cap. I want to call it the cap of voting, but what is it? The city hall. Um, and then the historic statue I usually put in this region, too. Uh, let's see, we'll put it right here near the middle. See, those are gifts you get as your city grows. It's growing rapidly because the grid I use is very effective. I'm going to have a performance arts center that's going to go in there. For now, we're just going to make a little forest. Fill in some of these gaps here. If there's any gaps on the map, we're going to try to fill them. Water supply and not needing demand. See, the city's growing fast. We'll get that taken care of in a minute. Alright, let's... uh. Get some parks here. There, city's grown quick and rapidly. Commerce is booming. I was on a parade, but I never do the parade until I come done with the city because it's uh stops time in the city and it's annoying. Industrial demand is shot up now. I can sometimes overwhelm these and um, make them into factory land instead of farms. So we're going to develop the water area all the way now, like I not did it very fast, but now we got the money and population, we're going to develop it, of course. Now we have a lot of water in the city. I know this is kind of a really cheesy way to get it, but um, that's how it's got to be. Alright. See, they always tell me to lower taxes in here. Ridiculous. Right, let's zoom out. Let's take a look at it. So, starting to get a few bigger buildings there. I'll look at them later. You see all this over here. The gross parts of town support this over here. Now, I was going to show you a map for land values and such. Um. So look, land. Okay, it's aura. Red means it's a bad part of town. That's only the building that, or that nobody really lives in where the land value is. Crime is really bad over here. Maybe I'll get a police station here in a bit. Um, yeah, I can fit one in the gap there. And it should maybe a police station over there, even though it's kind of an irrelevant part of town. Okay. Land value, see, it's going to be highest north near the center, but more right here because these are denser. Um, traffic, but you know, the traffic's not really that bad yet because it could be worse. Alright, keeping up on trash. I've rapidly developed this city. Um, it's gonna go over soon, so we're gonna get another incinerator. We can get a few more police stations in key areas that are uncovered. I don't know, over here maybe. I kinda don't want to build one over here though. Those are bad buildings, so we gotta keep going. Things under control. See, I build mostly government buildings over here because it's kind of a trash part of town. I'm gonna put a lot of government buildings there. Um, lighthouse, you just put by residential. Haunted house is kind of a waste. Well, we'll get the lighthouse on the map, maybe. Let's see, is there. It's usually good by residential. We gotta make like a touristy spot, so we're gonna. Um. We're going to play around the elevation a bit and make a natural looking uh, coastal area. And then we're going to put the lighthouse there. And then, let's see, what normally would have went here? Uh, I did that now, i got to put the, uh, what do you call it? So you have a bus stop there. And then do a little, few little parts that go in the gap. And then put like a forest in this area. And then we're gonna do another marina because why not? I got the money and people are gonna wanna set sail around here. So I have sailboats in my water. Now, 
Okay, here's the commercial. We have plazas. We have, you know, drum buildings. Maxis Theaters, back when Maxis was company. The Winter Wonderland Park. Supermarket. Um, insurance office. An athletic club. Um, micro shops. Three tree plaza. So, you know, we have like a commercial zone. So, if you're in this town, you know, you have to do all your shopping here. People live over here and you go to work on this side. And then if you live in a suburb, you're by the farms and you would have to commute over to here. Okay, so why is there traffic problems? What is the cause of this? Is the grid correct? But no, it's, it's on the borderline of being good or bad. That's why it showed that. Um, let's look at this here, where you need to get the population up. we got two more minutes here, so I'm going to have to build, um, keep the city going forward. Alright, why is education not being good? What do we need? A. Good. Museums, good. Library is a B. That means we need to get more libraries. More libraries. They don't want to worry about building more for a while, because they will they want them a lot. You gotta get the education levels up to get a university in the city. Alright. So we're gonna build up the farms. As you can see, I'm ignoring all the demands for lower taxes. It's not necessary. I don't miss. I mean, I could even raise the taxes in the beginning. People still live here. I just not have a money problems. So I'm not messing with. Them. But you want to keep getting money because you're gonna have to buy expensive buildings later. All right, we're gonna get our build a new farm area because that's how you colonize a new area. You get a bunch. Of you get a bunch of farms, and hopefully they develop into farms, and then, then go start building a suburb. Because you know, that's how like small towns develop. Come on. Eventually, there's going to have to be other roads going across, but I'm not doing that yet. I'm just trying to colonize a new part of town, and we'll, we'll build it later. I'll eventually have to cut some houses to make roads that way, but, you know, they're not real people. I can do that in the jerk government. Alright, so let's see. Expand this way too. Let's see here. We got now farms. You can't build them. See, it's got to be eight by eight. Oh, that means that we're power plant situation is going to get dire, so we're going to, um, we're going to keep doing nuclear power to fission is invented. See, I put four of them here. That's one. Let's see, it's getting hard to turn into. Oh, well, there's pressure on it now. Okay, so we can't develop because we don't have power over there. we got to get power. Oh, this is going to give me all kinds of grief, is it not? It will. So you gotta like build a little peninsula to get power line over the hill here. Structural demon is gonna give me that BS. Because the bridge is right there and. Oh lord, what are we gonna do? I'm gonna do it like this and it's not gonna complain. What? Well, if I do it any tighter, this boat won't even be able to get through. What the? Is there something underground here? No, there shouldn't be any issues. Let's go to land. Make the land 
flat. Alright. You can't build across this, I don't know what to tell you. Oh, thank god. What a relief. No, we're not building to the neighbors. That would be stupid. You gotta get... If you don't build infrastructure, you can't get... Oh my god. Why is that hill so steep? Um, but I can't fix it now, can I? I gotta go do something else. Let's see. This is always one of the hassles of the game, is trying to figure out how to deal with... Oh, thank god, it went up. Alright. So we're gonna... We gotta expand out, like, your city's gotta grow in all directions. You can't always just be developing the center. You gotta go switch back and forth to develop other areas. Now, I think I said I was gonna get rid of this water. So, we will eventually. Or, I don't know, it's, it's really big. I'm probably just gonna leave it there. Mm, more farms there. It's gonna take a while to get to that edge of the city, because it's easier to build if you build the edges and then expand outward that way. It's very, you can very rapidly develop moving outward if you uh, do what I'm doing here. Then it's easier to expand your city if you already have like a core population available. Let's see. Alright. And the highway's gonna to turn over here at some point too. Wait, what's two since two <gasps> University? Um, and then the rest is, I don't know. What was the issue? Water pipes? Oh, uh, yeah, I guess I gotta build. We're gonna get it way up to here. Oh, come on, screen, stop fighting me. There it goes. And then, is the water getting everywhere? It is, thank God. It will be getting everywhere. There we go. Alright, so where are we gonna put the universe? Let's see, we have like an educational thing here. We're gonna, um, let's see though, I usually put it, wait, that's not university. This is, mm, I don't know, I could put it right here, but I gotta get rid of some shit. Oh, it's kind of a crappy part of town, but it's got to be somewhere, and it doesn't matter where it is, really. It's just that you have to have one. Let's see. We're going to put a forest around it so it you know, looks nice. Because it's supposed to be kind of a nice-looking area. We're going to eventually maybe put more education buildings in the area, but... you got to have, like, a buffer zone between this dirty part of town to here, and the university doesn't really matter where it goes. It does not matter, it does its function regardless, so that's the kind of building you build in the in-between, the dirty and clean zones. So we have a university. Let's see, is recycling keeping up? Adequate. Maybe do more seaports. Let's see, schools, good. Hospitals, good. Colleges, still good. Museums, good. Alright. Time's getting running out, but we need to uh, keep building outward. Dust your demand suddenly shot through the roof. Was it because of the university? Oh, no, it went down then. You know, if your dust demand ever gets too strong, it'll overpower the uh, farms and turn them into dirty zones. And sometimes you gotta you gotta keep building them outward. You build a forest because, you know, they're sensitive to pollution and by building this. Okay, they're going to complain about the lack of police in this very rural area, but it's okay. They don't need them. The neighbors gossip and talk to each other. There's a neighborhood watch program. They're going to complain about how the police levels are low, but... Let's see. They're going to complain about taxes. 
Developer says we need more housing, but I'm just taking I'm just building too slow so we don't have it. Um I'll put someone on the other side of the road here real quick because we're gonna eventually be building that way. Um then let's get some let's get to the start of this res this suburb built too. Let's see, the way it's shaped, we're gonna have to like do it that way. The road's gonna have to go up that way. Okay, I think I'm gonna have to end my video. Highway's continuing. Let's see, it doesn't even connect to this side of the map, but I'm gonna make it turn down here when I finally build it. I'll probably have to flatten this land out. And, but we're moving along, and we're doing good. Um, oh yeah, we'll put this real quick. Usually I put this, like, in an edge of the map somewhere. Um, just, a guy's just gonna be located in a really rural country area. And we'll put some real forest around it. People need recreation and they want to go to places like that. We'll worry about the haunted house later. It's like the most useless building. Usually I st I'll probably end up sticking it in one of these trash areas. Because the building just literally has no purpose. Alright, I call it a day.